Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to System Crash. And looks like we are going to be doing some code hunting today, guys. We need to acquire a maintenance access code, a lab administrator access code, and a security officer access code. So we got all three of them right here, and let's get to it. Let's start out with... Let's get the security access codes, because I figured those will probably be the hardest ones to grab. No special condition, 800 credits, 2 bronze. Hmm. Against basic security, and just like it was back when we first started playing. We'll redraw, redraw. Two open fires with a treachery. I think that'll be good. And no special conditions. Which I'm actually surprised about, but... Ah, uh, it's mechs. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and rock out Maddox in that mech's place. This should be interesting. And a corporate executive. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, we seem to be pulling no agents, which sucks a bit. But I think we'll be able to deal with that with a nice with a nice uh, combo of cards here. So we are going to play some treachery right here, like so, and then an open fire, which takes care of Jessica. And I could play another one if I wanted to, but he only he's only doing two um, direct OP damage, and we can kill him in the next turn, so we'll just leave him live for right now. And he wastes he wastes that equipment. So there's four. Hello, Jinx. Now we shoot him in the face. And we could play... Well, we've got an Artemis. We could play the Neural Backlash. Let's not worry about that right now. And actually, that card helps a lot because we're no longer doing damage to this guy. For two. And we can't... We unfortunately cannot assassinate a mech. But we'll throw Jinx right here against him. And here comes the pallet, and here comes all the heavy hitters. Two and three. We can th throw Nikolai here. And they're probably going to get taken down, but the good news... What is that? Oh, that makes them nastier. I was wondering if that card was ever going to get played. But we'll grab as much OP as we can. And let's play the Wendigo and Artemis and a nice software vulnerability to add up. And that now we have two uh, neural backlashes, which makes me happy. Now those were our two Artemis cards. We are pretty much out now. Ooh, bye Jinx. And our guys were stunned via the uh, pacifier. So let's play data disk and draw some new cards. We have got nil. Who we got? We've got nil, and we're still kind of uh, out of luck when it comes to another another agent. Well, we have Rickson, but it's a little too don't have enough credits for him. Let's see what happens here. Artemis against the Wendigo. They gain seven. Now, here we go. Four, ten, four. With authority. Nothing really they could do. 
innocent bystander. So, I want to try, I think maintenance would actually be the least formidable one. I say that now. Admin's where it's gonna, the danger's gonna be. So let's go here. It, actually, we might be fighting the same style of deck all over again. Smoke bomb, system crash. We need some binkies. Maddox and Nil, where's, where's Richard at? Where's our Richard? And we get to play first again. That's generous. Compared to what we usually see. Uh oh. That's never a good sign when the computer uh, takes a turn and doesn't do anything. That means the pain is on its way. What we got? Count Frozen. There's Richard. Hello, Richard. Let's get... Let's get Nil out. And we'll play Artemis in the next turn, I'm thinking, because then Richard will only be worth one. Oh, dear. Did not expect that. Out of nowhere, with Blackjack. Hmm. Well, that plan has changed just a little bit. We'll take care of two of them. Now, I'm expecting the Ninth Circle Club to pop up. Another Blackjack! Good lord! Hmm. I did not expect to see this in the maintenance closet. And... We'll go play, ahead and play Asir here. And that's gonna be... Pretty nasty. Because these neon mongers are just going down. Deal 7 damage. Uh oh All of my guys just went down in a bad way. Four and six. Good on you guys. So here's... No, I don't want to uh, do that. Let's play... Nikolai. Why not? You better have an assassination card for him. Shade, and another one! Holy crap! That is crazy! There's a nice 10 for us. So, what are we gonna do here? Don't mind him getting another 7, unless he's gonna get buffed up, which is a strong possibility. 4, and then we will... Equip Nikolai with the data jack. Now, unless he can take out all of our guys, or he can get the points that he needs just with shade, I think we've got this. There's Selena. Yeah, he's trying to buff everyone up. There's 11, but it's not going to matter. We got it. Do do do. Lots of punks in that closet. Artemis and Sirius K Lancer. And now it's time for admin. This is where it's probably going to get hairy. And no, no special conditions. Now, how much you want to bet this is a Metrosec deck? I'd bet you money. Richard Ghost. Eh. Man, we're just not having a lot of good luck. We're having good luck in the fact that we're having to draw multiple times, or bad luck, drawing multiple times. But by the same token, we're getting to play first each time. T-Boz. Well, this... 
I don't know. We'll throw Nil right there against him. Here comes the open fire. Wow. Never mind. Throw the Asir out, just for giggles. If we get some cheap hackers, we're going to be doing a lot of damage really quick. Deal 8 damage. There you go. For your mighty 3. I hope you enjoy it. Here you go. We'll have Jinx kind of replace that. Oh, it's Yakuza. Interesting. Not was not what I was expecting. Um So, you know what? We're going to go ahead and make you go back so you have to sacrifice two more cards in your deck. Well, Jinx takes care of T-Boss. Oh, Tarantula. That is a nasty card. The direct damage. Not good. So Jinx is probably going down in the next turn. We definitely don't want to send that one back to the deck. So here's what we'll do. We'll play that Jinx and we'll have Jojo down. And Jojo will allow us to play... We could get Serev. But there's some other cards I really want to play. So let's go with one of our Maddoxes see what happens. Here comes the more grenades. More Yakuza. Pumped up Yakuza. Now, open fire is not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Now, here comes their... We're going to make them waste their first Artemis. Here's some smoke screen. Lowers it down. And... Probably should have used the open fire. I keep on forgetting to do that. Dang it all. It's okay. Six. Uh, so the smoke screen does work on that opening salvo. That's interesting. Like, in a good way, interesting. And strangely enough, we are not seeing... We're not seeing the um, Artemis yet, so let's use our other four credits to install... Who should we install with a Data Jack? Let's go ahead and do it to Jinx. And call that good. There's the first Artemis. Good. That's what we needed to see. Now, some of our guys are unfortunately about to uh, shuffle off the Mortal Coil fairly quickly. Oh, just Jojo. Eight and two. Forty-six. That's what I like to see. Let's go with smoke screen number two. And I forgot to open fire again. Ugh. Throw out silhouette for two more cards. And that's game. There's a the software vulnerability. Boop. And we'll just waste the open fire. Take that, T-Boz. Research lab, innocent bystander. Now that leads to story mission hunted, which means we're going to be dealing with Wade. Good old Wade. A new, oh, a new hunter enters the game. I'm so thrilled. Oh, it's Duval. You're getting a sixth sense for these things now. The back of your neck prickles, and you uh, that word, surreptitiously, search the street around you for the assassin. There, by the billboards, a tall, dark-skinned man in a pristine white suit. He's watching you intently, making no effort to hide his attention. Your eyes meet, and acknowledgement passes between you. Casually, so casually that no one around him seems to notice, he draws out a pistol, and with the weapon held loosely, steps towards you. Well, at least there was that quiet understanding of, okay, let's do this. Now see what fresh hell Duval has planned for us. Still no number ones. 
I do like that software vulnerability right off the bat, as well as Nil and Jojo. We're gonna go ahead and keep that, which means Duvall's gonna go first. Oh! And the streak continues. Draw a new card. Assassinate. Probably good. So this is going to be Anarchs and just a whole lot of offensive nastiness. Which I can get behind. I'm okay with. These things do happen. Here comes the pain. And here comes the OP. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and throw Nil out. You're not gonna do anything about him. Uh, Max will be dead in the next turn, but then we'll throw out either Jojo or Silhouette for some agents or cards. Ah, Rutger! Interesting. Let's throw Jojo out, because we don't... We can grab another... Maddox. There we go. That might work out well. And then we can use Assassinate or maybe some smoke screen. Who are you killing? Good call. Shooting nil was a good strat. Let's try let's play silhouette since we can draw two more cards. Can't do any treachery, unfortunately. And there goes T-Boss. Let's see who their other heaters are. We haven't seen Duvall yet. Ooh. Oh, ha, Wade. Does Wade have haste? Nope. Surprisingly okay with that. Um, we have no agents, do we? Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, let's get some cards going. Ah, okay. This works out for us, kind of. I'm going to light up Rutger. Uh, I'll let Wade take. I'll let Wade uh, gather up the points because Silhouette's going to be very dead next turn. There's the ball. Seven, and I've got the cure for Deval. So let's go ahead and shoot him in the face and. Force him to spend some car, spend some more uh, credits getting Wade back on the field. So we're playing with some big money now. Hello there, Way. This is an assassination deck. Interesting. And I don't think Way can be the target of special abilities. Oh, yes, she can. We should know that, considering how many times we were open fired against. Um. Hmm. Let's get some points there. We will throw Richard over here. Shoot Wade in the face. Goodbye, Wade. And no treachery this time. Let's see what happens. Probably we'll buff way up. Oh, a turret. Now we're starting to get our guys. Finally. <laughs> um, let's do... I don't want to do... I want to keep my system crash until I absolutely need it. Um, so let's... Smoke screen. And we'll play another Richard here. And we'll equip that Richard with... The Cyber Deck. Turrets, turrets everywhere. Holy crap, that's a lot of turrets. Good lord. 
So we gathered 30. This is where we play System Crash. Everyone go back. So then we play all three of our Richards. And they have to spend all of that time getting those turrets back up on the board. So brand new smoke screen and another worm virus for good measure. Spending all that time getting their guys back out. And that was really stupid to put away right there. I think. I could be wrong. But let's play Neural Backlash to get a card and knock them down. Um, software Vulnerability. Software Vulnerability. Open Fire. And that's pretty much game, guys. Goodbye, Richard. But we still have two more Richards here, and they are going to gather the appropriate points needed. Well, actually, thank you, smoke screen. There we go. That could have been really interesting, but we persevered. You peer out from behind the dumpster, but the assassin has disappeared. The street is empty, the onlookers fleeing to cover at the first gunfire. In the distance, you hear the wail of sirens. Time to make yourself scarce. Well, in a, in a sense, we took on both Duvall and Wade. Cyberware Junkie, Metrosec SRT, which is one of the best cards you can possibly get if you're playing a Metrosec deck. Rally your allies and start the run. How is your hunting, my friend? Hmm. Oh, shot a couple of times, blew up a few things, took down a few corporate networks. Just an other day at the office, really. But I've got the codes. Excellent work. For my part, I've assembled our team. They're all quite keen for the challenge. Here, I'll dispatch them through our, to our comm channel. One moment. There. Done. Ready to dance, people? Happy to join the party, Hotshot. Jinx! Hendrix simply grunts noncommittedly. Mm. The feed switches to a young, bald black woman. Yeah, yeah. Group hug. I hope you people aren't a bunch of amateurs. Turner vouched for you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. For now. I just hope I don't regret it. Yeah, and Turner vouched for you, Ghost. Guess we're all hoping he knows what he's doing. Turner cuts in quickly. Yes, well, now that we've started off on the right foot, let's go over the plan. I've identified three access points, any of which will get us inside the lab. But once we're in, we'll need to split up. Ghost, you'll head for the security system central hub. It's heavily defended, avoiding engaging security forces as much as possible. Once you're inside, unload the vir upload the virus I'm providing you with to their security network. That should bring down the majority of their security systems long enough for us to access sub-level 2. Jinx, your task is to go to the facility's administrator's, administrator's control room. The key should grant you access to their system. You'll need to unlock the access elevator to the sub-levels. Also, seal the exits to the lab so that it's difficult to get word out. Hendrix, your task is the external communications array. Destroy it. The lab is shielded. The only communication with outside networks is via that array. With the exit sealed, destroying the array will buy us some time before reinforcements arrive. And you, my friend? Your task is to take the access elevator to sub-level 2. There you'll find the primary databanks. You'll have 20 minutes, tops, before they regain control of the facility. Overcome any independent security forces you find on that level and seize as much data as you're able. Got it. You can count on me. Good. We all know what to do. So, let's get it done. And here are all three of them. We've got Western Lab Entrance C. Oh, we enter. This is just us entering through one of the access points, so we don't get to play as everyone else, in, in a sense, you know, attacking the complex. But I actually think this is a good time to end the episode. When we get back here, we'll. Uh, I guess we'll just have a roll of the dice to determine which access port we go into, because there's probably different types of security 
at each entrance. If what we saw from the um, servers and trying to get those codes or any indication, the, the decks are usually a little bit different. But hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone. <laughs>